All right, hello guys. Uh, my name is Andy. Um, I'm gonna be your teacher for the next couple of weeks as part of your sales analyst program. Um, so in this lesson, um, I recommend you guys write uh, some notes just so you remember what I tell you. After class, I'll send you the PDF. All right, so uh, today is gonna be loosely based around the sales English course. Um, so let's begin. In this lesson, we're gonna talk about work schedules. All right. Um, now, this is the vocabulary and expressions that we're going to be covering in this lesson. So, uh, Sebastian, can you help us read uh, the first couple of words, please? Yes. Uh, tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, business trip schedule. All right. Excellent job. Now, how about uh, Diego, the next one? Calendar, year, morning. Very good job. And Tatiana? Uh, the last one. Conference call, sales meeting, presentation. All right. Very good job. Now, we're also going to take a look at some grammar items, guys. These are the items that we're going to be covering. Um, let's start with Julio. Can you take a look at the first one? Frequency adverbs, for example, always, usually, sometimes, rarely, never. All right, very good. And what about Elizabeth? Let's look at the second item. Present progressive with future meaning. For example, we are taking a break at 510. All right, very good job, guys. So we're going to take a look at these vocabulary and expressions and these grammar items in today's lesson. So don't worry if this sounds a little scary. Um, we'll see what it's about later on. So let's do a little bit of warm up. So here we have a schedule. And for this lesson, we're going to imagine that today is Monday, the 22nd, okay? So, uh, class, today, Diego is going to meet with his clients and employees. He's going on a business trip, all right? So, uh, if today is Monday, the 22nd, um, Sebastian, what is tomorrow in this context? Uh, Monday? So today. today is Monday. So what will be tomorrow? Oh, tomorrow is Tuesday. Tuesday the? Tuesday the 23rd. Very good. Now, as a small reminder, guys, remember in English, when we have these numbers, we say the first, the second, the third. Now, uh, we could also say the 21st, the 22nd, the 23rd. And in general, with numbers, we could say the 41st, the 42nd, the 43rd. Um, the only differences are if we have 11, 12, and 13, then we do that with TH. And everything afterwards is TH. All right. But we'll review this later on in another lesson. So don't worry about this for now. All right. So uh, Diego Villegas is going to Toronto tomorrow the 23rd and this is his schedule all right now alejandra if today is the 22nd and tomorrow is the 23rd what day would be the day after tomorrow the day after tomorrow is wednesday the 24th all right very good job so we already know that we have today tomorrow and the day after tomorrow now, here's a little slang tip whenever we're talking about dates, all right? Now, in the United Kingdom, we have the date format in this following fashion. We have the month first, sorry, we have the day first, my bad, the month, and then the year. Similar to Latin American countries like in Brazil, Colombia, we follow the same pattern. But in the United States, the month goes first, then the day, and then the year, right? Um, the year has... All right, guys. So does anyone have questions about this so far? No questions. All right, guys. Very good. So let's go ahead and take a look at a little bit of grammar. So in this section, we're going to be taking a look at what is called adverbs of frequency. Okay. So adverbs of frequency tell us, and they ask the question, how often, right? So how often basically is the frequency of events that we do. 
So let's look at the very first one. Uh, Sarah, can you take a look at this one? Never. Never. I never work on Sundays. Very good. So never is something that has zero probability. Okay. Zero percent probability. For example, I, in my case, I could say, I never wear dresses, right? For example, in my case, I don't wear dresses. So I never wear dresses. All right. Very good job. Let's continue now with the next one. Uh, Santiago, uh, the second one, please. Rarely. Rarely. I rarely work on Sundays. Very good. Now, remember, the pronunciation on this one is rarely. All right. Can you repeat that one more time? Rarely. Excellent job. All right. So rarely work on Sundays. It doesn't really happen that often, but it's not impossible. It's just not frequent. All right. Very good job. So we've got never, rarely. Um, and how about Miguel? Um, the next one, please. Sometimes. I sometimes work in the evening. All right. Excellent. So when we say sometimes, this means not always, not never, but sometimes. So Miguel, what do you sometimes do on your free time? I sometimes play video games. All right. Very good. Oops. I sometimes play video games as well. All right, guys, we're almost there with these adverbs of frequency. Um, Jason, the next one. Usually. I usually work during the day. Very good. So again, this isn't something that is always because maybe I don't always work during the day. Sometimes I work at night, but it is frequent. Okay. So usually. Very good job, Jason. And the next one, how about we go with Elizabeth? Oops. There you go. Always. I always work during the day. All right. Very good. So now we have these different adverbs of frequency, guys. We have never, rarely, sometimes, usually, and always. Now, here's a little uh, conversation, just a little, do a little practice. So let's have uh, Jason and Alex. Uh, let's go ahead and read this one. Okay. So Jason, you're number one, and Alex, you're number two. Are you home in the evening? Yes, I'm usually home after six. All right, very good. So we have here, usually home after six. All right, now let's have another pair, um, Miguel and Stephanie. Uh, Miguel, you could be number one. Stephanie, number two. Do you ever meet clients at night? No, I never. I always see them during the day. All right, excellent. So again, we have these different examples of never, and always, and the different frequencies in between. So questions so far? All right, no guys, questions. very good job. Now, we're going to do a, just a little bit more practice just to make sure that we really got it. Um, and for this exercise, um, I'm going to split you guys into different groups in Zoom. So parejas, yes, in pairs. I'm going to put you guys in different groups. And we have around maybe two to three minutes to uh, go back and forth with this. Now, I'll give you a minute to write this down. So write this down and share with your partner. All right, so the time's passed. Uh, people have already written down their, their questions. And all right, so Sebastian, um, let's take a look at number one. What do you usually eat for breakfast? I usually eat cereal for breakfast. Very good. I usually eat cereal for breakfast. All right, now how about for number two? Are you always home on Sundays? Mm, not always. I am usually home on Sundays. All right, very good. So we could say, no, I am usually home on Sundays. All right, now, Sebastian, ask me number three. Teacher, who do you rarely talk to during the week? Well, I rarely talk to my aunt yeah i'm gonna talk to my aunt yeah okay now about number four uh, what kind of music do you sometimes listen to well i sometimes listen to country music from the united states 
Are you familiar with this music? Oh, yes, Johnny Cash. <laughs> yeah, very good. Okay, so I think it's time to bring everyone back. Uh, let me push these buttons here. All right, everyone, very good job. How did everyone do in their pairs? Any questions? You guys did good with the drills? All right, fantastic. So um, now that we've taken care of this little practice, we're going to do one final exercise where, again, we're going to be focusing on a little bit of grammar here. This one is going to be the present progressive structure. Now, this is fancy for just verb plus ing. So let's do, a, let me give you a couple examples. Um, and again, just verb plus ing, this is called a gerund, right? So if maybe if I say eat, this would be eating. So Miguel, what about walk? Walking. Walking, fantastic. Uh, Wilson, what about sleep? Sleeping. Sleeping, very good. And Sebastian, what about run? Running. Running, very good. So whenever we combine this, for example, if I say I am running, he is sleeping, they are walking, this indicates the present. However, if we want to talk about the future, then we would add a context. We would add a time context. For example, I could say, I am running next week. Next week, that's in the future. He is sleeping, maybe we could say, on the floor tomorrow. Maybe his, he got a little angry. Now, Sebastian, what would you give me an example with they are walking? Any context in the future? They are walking to Disney tomorrow. Oh, to Disney tomorrow. Very good. Lucky kids. So um, what we're going to do here is using this little guy over here. All right. Say hello. Using the schedule, we're going to answer the questions to the left. All right. So let's begin with Elizabeth. Um, what do you think would be the best answer choice using these word banks for number one? Uh, Diego is going home. At? At 5 p.m. Very good. So Diego's going home at 5 p.m. Fantastic. Now, uh, do we have a volunteer for number two? Me, me, All right. me, me, me. Great. Stephanie, number two. Diego is eating lunch with her client at 12 p.m. Excellent job. So here we have the first event. My bad. I didn't mark it. And here's the other one. He's meeting lunch with her client, Martha Simmons. So here we have eating. All right. Very good job, guys. Um, let's go with number three. Another volunteer? Me, me. No one? Oh, all right. Great. Uh, Mauricio, number three. Uh, what do you think is the best answer here? Diego is giving a meeting with Dennis Bradley at 11 a.m. Well, well it, not necessarily because we don't give a meeting. We have a meeting. So what do you think would be the progressive, the present progressive? Diego is having a meeting. Having. Very good. Because remember, giving is when I give you something. I don't really give you a meeting. So this is the most appropriate response. All right. So good job on this one. Excellent job, guys. And finally, Sebastian, number four. Diego is giving a presentation at 3 p.m. Very good. So the last one here is Diego is giving a presentation at 3 p.m. All right, guys. Fantastic. Uh, are, are all of you experts on present progressive yet? Yes, all right. You are. Well, I'm going to give you guys um, in the email, I'll give you guys a homework assignment so you can practice this a little bit more. But um, that'll be it. The one last thing is that there's another slang tip here. Now, um, okay, I got to change that here. Now, uh, <clears throat> what we see here is that we have these words at, on, and in, all right? The word at is used for something very more specifically, for example, a time. So usually with times we say at 3 p.m., then we go larger with days, we use on for days, on Monday, on Tuesday, on Thursday, and we use in for months or for years, right? So a couple examples would be, 
call me in 2023, right? Or maybe I could say, for example, Santiago, can you fill in the blank here? Um, I take walks. What do you think would be the best word? At, on, or in? At, because it's the time. So I take walks at 4 p.m. every day. All right, perfect. And then last one. Oh, sorry, this is uh, wrong. This is, okay. Now the last one, uh, Miguel, how about the next one? They will visit me. Saturday is a day, so on they visit they will visit me on Saturday. Very good. All right, guys, that wraps up our lesson for today. So um, this is gonna be our final exercise. I want you guys to take uh, maybe three or four minutes just to take a look at these examples and create three sample sentences using these different phrase blocks. For example, I could say, Manu is visiting our Mexico HQ in 2024. All right, so Santiago, what's one other example? I am going to Boston at eight o'clock tonight. Very good. All right, so now uh, are the instructions clear? I'll give you guys uh, maybe three or four minutes to practice this and we'll wrap up our lesson for today. All right, so time passes. And all right, everyone, how did you guys do? Questions? Clear no, or super clear? No questions. So super clear or super clear? All right, excellent job, guys. So now we can talk about, well, all of you guys can now talk about your work schedule, use adverbs or frequency, and you can have a conversation using the present progressive with future meaning. All right, that's everything for today, guys. Have a great lesson. Have a great day. Bye, T.